Hey everybody, what is going on? Your boy HDR here. Back in the hidden game room with another mini arcade classic review. This one is Mortal Kombat. Uh, saw this today at Walmart. Just in there, wasn't even looking for stuff. It was like with the clearance Christmas stuff. Um, but I saw it and it's one of those, um, it's like the Q-Bert and the Pac-Man in line with them, but not from Retro Bit. Um, so this one's uh, Mortal Kombat arcade version so I'm gonna take it out of the box plate and see what it's all about so let's get this thing open let's see how it plays quick oh crap it's got an instruction book in there which is good let's see we're gonna be able to get this thing out yeah we just gotta get all these twisted off all right, bear with me, guys. I'll be right back after I get this figured out. So I finally wrestled it out of the um, the box it was in. So this is the unit's uh, power button, uh, volume button. It's got high punch, low punch, high kick, low kick, uh, block and block and joystick start button. Just came on. There's the demo. That's pretty cool. We got, was that Johnny Cage? So we got Scorpion. Got the demo thing on the back. Um, item number 968. So anyway, let's pull this out. There we go. And that should activate it. Now, Mortal Kombat. Register characters. Blah, 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 blah. I'm going to hold it up here. We can see it. Let me see if I can put it on something. forget that all right so it's going through everything i hope you can see this all right let's get on with this uh shoot some gameplay here yeah. from here start Okay, so options, credits, what, what are they, they dry, Yeah. put them in the drawer, okay. all right anyway, so let's check these options out, we got credits, samples, sound, music, and difficulty. So we'll just leave it default for now. Then we start. So we got the one, two, three, four, seven classic characters from the Nintendo version. Or the original version. However you want to say it. So we're going to go with Scorpion. High punch, low punch, I think. And so right off the bat, the joystick's not that good. Do the legs down in the okay. Let's see. What did that? Yeah, the movement's not that great on this one. 
Force control when you... Oh, crap! Alright, Luke King, kick my butt. Yeah, let's continue. Let's try someone else. Kino. Jenny Cage, Kino, Raiden. Sub Zero, something. Let's try something. Else. See if she moves any better. Oh, this must be the Super Nintendo version. There's no blood. So it's just like the Super Nintendo version. Finishing, I don't remember. Like backpacking forward or something. It's R button. Throwing it in. So, not bad. I mean, the, the the movement could be a little better, but I mean, you're still getting to play the game. It's not really. I mean, some of those other arcade machines got more of an arcade feel to it than this. But obviously, the it's gonna take some getting used to if you really want to play it, but the movement's not that great. Not bad. I mean, it does alright. It wasn't that expensive. So, yeah, so I'm gonna give another look all the way around it. Bottom one's on uh, three double A's. Let's see. Oh, crap. And that's the end of me. Alright guys man, uh so I give it I give it about five out of ten. I mean it, it's good, the sounds good and everything. Plays okay, but the movement's not great and like I said it takes some getting used to. I think it's more of a novelty item than anything. You're gonna be seriously playing Mortal Kombat on. But it's still kinda cool. It's gonna look good sitting there with the rest of them. And I'm dead. Alright guys, catch y'all at the next one. Peace!